and welcome to Take Wave. My name is Tidio Tierno and today we're hanging out with Eco Mobilis. They'll tell us about the e tuk, -tuk. Exactly where I'm sitting. Leo, Nikona Gen Z. By the way, that's the nickname. Let's get to find out more. Yes, Prof. Abarelio. Buzuri sana. Wow. Yeah, welcome to Ecomobilis. What an interesting tuk tuk you have here. Thank you. So please tell us more about this. Um, thank you very much. Um, my name is uh, Professor Gitao, and uh, my company is called Ecomobilis. We are doing electric mobility from uh, motorcycles, tuk tuks, mm -hmm. and soon we'll be going also to the four wheelers. Okay. And uh, with us here is uh, our e tuk tuk. Right. We are calling it Gen Z ride. Gen Z. Yes, Gen Z ride. What, what's an e gear panel with Gen Z? <laughs> we are calling it Gen Z ride. Yes. And um, this is a special tuk tuk because mm -hmm. um, it's not only using uh, electric, okay. but also it's able to recharge using solar. All right. Yes. So we can have a light, and then you can see how it goes. Why not? You only backward. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So we are now heading to the highway. Yes. If you have passengers, it can carry three passengers. And uh, the weight, it can carry up to around uh, 400 kgs. Okay. All right. And we have a sunroof, by the way. And we have a nice sunroof. <laughs> and uh, up there, we have our solar. Prof. Yes. Uh, what's the maximum uh, in terms of uh, kilometers per hour? What's the speed? Um, this is not intended for very high speed. Okay. But at least you can do around uh, 45 to 60 kilometers per hour. All right. Yes. Okay, let's try this. So we are taking a ride now. I love the fact that it's not noisy. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's supposed to be silent. Okay. And this makes it even friendly for women. Mm -hmm. You can have a woman rider also. Because my, pro my, my producer here is very happy. She's yes. excited already. Yes. I think at that Chukwamoja. Yes. <laughs> and you see the way it's carrying the, the hill? Yes. Without struggles. How long does it take to assemble this particular e tuk, -tuk? Uh, from from the beginning all the way to the end, mm -hmm. um, depending on uh, the preparation of the materials. Yes. Uh, for me to build this one, it took me a month. All right. But when it comes now to commercial assembly mm -hmm. and so forth, yeah, I, I think you can do um, at least two units uh, every two days. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, if all the parts are there. Let's talk about the big kahuna now. You know, people see this, they admire it. And yes. I was saying, this is a prof here, you can see it. Well, uh, our price tag right now is 500,000. Okay, for one unit. One unit, yes. All right. Yes. How about the durability? Because I've seen some solar panels, look at you. Um, the main component that is very important here right. is uh, the battery. Mm -hmm. And the battery is supposed to give you five years of service. Five good years. Yes, five five good years of service. Yes. So you should not be worried. Like uh, for five good years, uh -huh. your five hundred thousand investment, you have recouped it very quickly because there's no electricity. I mean, there's no mm -hmm. uh, buying of fuel. Right. So it's only recharging, and you can recharge from home. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also the solar also increases the distance that you're able to get uh -huh. uh, with the with the with the with the vehicle. And speaking of distance now, yes. uh, how far can we go? To Nezafika town, Naturudi. Uh, yes, with, the, with the, a full charge mm -hmm. of the battery, you can go uh, 45 kilometers. Okay. Uh, and uh, if we put a double battery system, because it has accommodated several batteries, right. you'll be able to get even 100 kilometers. Ah, perfect. Yes. And to put it into perspective, yes. Nairobi CBD to Thika is about 47 kilometers. Yes. So that tells you how far you can go with the e tuk tuk. Yes, you can go to Nairobi and come back. Wow. From Thika, yes. That's very interesting. Yes. Well, let's go back in and check out you okay. know, the assembly process. Okay, here we go. All right. We 
we've really enjoyed the ride, huh? <laughs> so it's time to get to know the technical bit of the e tuk tuk. Let me call it that. And joining me now is Wawero. Karibu sana, Wawero. Thank you. Uh, Karibu ni sana. Uh, yes. My name is Paul Wawero. Uh, I want to explain a bit about the how electric mobility works. Right. So some people wonder when you're turning the throttle, actually, mm -hmm. what's, what's going on? Because uh -huh. this thing doesn't have the carburetor. Okay. Like the, the conventional vehicles. Huh? Mm -hmm. So everything in electric vehicles is done by wires. So everything is like on the plane, fly by wire. So it's right by wire. Mm -hmm. So this is the throttle. Mm -hmm. And for you to move using e-mobility, you need three things. Yeah. You need the motor, that's the one that is turning and rotating the wheels. Right. You need the battery. The battery is the one that is storing so up the charge. So show of it. Eh? Mm -hmm. we just have a, a cross section okay. of how a battery looks like mm -hmm. uh, from the inside. Eh? Mm -hmm. And batteries are usually made up of cells. Yeah. So if you arrange the cells, mm -hmm. you can make a very big stack of cells to make yeah. a bigger battery, which is going to last longer or move for a longer distance. Correct. So you need a battery, you need the motor, mm -hmm. and you need a controller. Right. So this controller here, when you're turning the throttle, it's now the one limiting the power. Mm -hmm. So how much power goes to the, to the motor so that the motor can either move faster or slower. We're so, talking the voltage now. Yeah, the voltage. So you can either increase the voltage mm -hmm. or in more technical terms, the frequency. The frequency. The frequency that goes to, to the motor. Uh -huh. So when you're turning this throttle, mm -hmm. you're increasing the power and of course the vehicle is moving much, much faster. Right. So we have different types of motors mm -hmm. depending again on the use case. So like for the tuk-tuk, uh, right. obviously we need a bigger motor because of the uh, carrying capacity. Mm -hmm. Like this can do four passengers comfortably. Okay. So if you're using maybe a, a scooter, which mm -hmm. is much, much smaller, yeah. maybe this motor is going to suffice. In case maybe you want to use a four-wheeler, you know, converting it to electric, you, you're going to need a much bigger motor for that case. Now, all these things, uh, for a start, we are using recycled materials. I want to show you. All this is re recycled? For a start. Okay. Uh, of course, with time, we have now gone to using new things. Huh? Uh -huh. So what I want to show you here is a battery pack that we made using old laptop batteries, believe it or not. Initially, this would power a small kick scooter. A Lithium kick, battery? Yes, from wow. old laptop batteries. Wow. Eh? The same battery, as we move uh, mm -hmm. in that direction, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see, like the LED flashing behind there, yes. is being powered by one of these. So this battery here, mm -hmm. you can see it's an Ecomobilus battery. And uh, it's made from 100% recycled materials. So for the proof of concept, we have shown that mm -hmm. you can make a battery entirely using electronic waste. Wow. And this battery can power s small things mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, you know, charging the phone. Mm -hmm. You can charge your phone, quick charge. Mm -hmm. You can power, you know, uh, an inverter. In, in, with an inverter, maybe a Kinyozi or, mm -hmm. uh, or such, a, such, such an enterprise. Mm -hmm. Lighting, if you need to, to light up, your, your enterprise as well right so it's gonna provide so much and uh, this can be powered using solar energy so over here mm -hmm. we have a foldable solar panel again this uh -huh. is new technology coming uh, into Africa so with this mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about the, the size it's just uh -huh. need to move it's pretty much like a laptop yeah 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 and carry it around yeah so with this and this and all these things, you have mobility, you have power, you can go camping, you can go wow. pretty much everything that you need right. that appertains to power. Correct. So, Ecomobilus is mm -hmm. all about this. Is this what we have on the tuk-tuk? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Only that that one now is um, mm. much, much bigger than this. It's so, really depending big. again on the capacity level, like I, I have explained. Huh? Okay. So, the bigger the... The panel? The, 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 of course, the bigger the, the, the panel is going to... So, like this battery here mm -hmm. can charge your phone yeah it's like a power bank it's like a power bank uh -huh. of which now it can be powered using this solar uh, panel how many milliamps so that, that is uh, 5000 this 5000 uh, mah but it is a 12 volts mm. so 12 volts this one is a hundred ampere hours <laughs> a hundred a hundred ampere hours so this is five this is a hundred so you can see Wow. And it's actually, we have added a bit of IoT, can mm -hmm. tell you the date, can tell you a few yeah. other things. But so, yeah, I can see. Yeah, it's, it's telling smart. you, Lights it, off. it's detecting light, it wow. can tell you the temperature, it can tell you a few other things. Because mm -hmm. at Ecomobilus, mm -hmm. we are keen on making smart gadgets. So uh, when we say Gen Z, we, we, we are keen on making things that even the Gen Zs can like. That's quite an interesting twist. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and now I'm made to understand that uh, besides the e tuk, -tuk yeah, there's quite a lot going on here. So um, so over here, 
uh, we've also taken care of gender. Mm -hmm. So for the ladies, okay, we have a tri bike, which is also electric. I was just about to hop on, but anyway. Yeah, <laughs> it's absolutely electric, so yes. uh, a lady can ride this without worry about balancing and all those kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So the same with this scooter over here. And uh, over there, we have what you call an, an electric uh, boda boda. Mm. boda boda. It's just like the ordinary boda boda, yeah. but now electric. Yeah. yeah, so it's like the ordinary boda boda, but it's electric. Mm -hmm. And then I think you must have seen a, an ATV. I've seen the quad. Yeah, the quad bike. Yeah. This, uh, that, that's a behemoth, because the power, mm -hmm. we've been able to pack a very huge uh, you know, motor and battery and everything. Correct. And that can even be used in other use cases like agriculture. It can actually do, it can till. So, so you, can, you can take it to the farm? Yes. Unongeza to jembe. Exactly. And you're good to go. It's that powerful. Eh? That's interesting. So uh, that one over there, so it's quite quite, quite a, a, a punch. So with the quad, did you have to convert it? Absolutely. All right. It was uh, originally gasoline powered. Mm -hmm. So mostly what we, we, we do, yeah. we convert conventional gasoline powered vehicles to electric. Mm. Or a, a vehicle that comes with a battery technology we call lead acid. Okay. So lead acid doesn't have a long lifespan. So basically what we do, we are able to convert that into lithium ion. Lithium ion is a more, uh, you know, a newer mm. technology that uh, EV is finding favor with. Wow. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Mm. So um, now maybe we can talk about policy. Yeah. Um, are there any hurdles that uh, you guys have encountered as you develop this technology? So um, also in Kenya, we can see this is quite a, a modest uh, kind of setup. Yeah. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges? So EV industry is uh, quite nascent. It's quite new, mm -hmm. absolutely. And some of the policies are actually being developed as, as we speak. Uh, I speak. I pray the other day they released the policy for e mobility, and uh, I think it's all stakeholders come to one table. So uh, there are various quarters coming on board trying to help because it's a new thing. So there's not so much law trying to regulate. So the only regulation is about the battery because of the dangers. Because uh, with the lithium ion, mm -hmm. you really need to know how you, you, you do the, the, the science because if anything goes wrong, yeah. these things can catch fire. Wow. So uh, in terms of support, uh, we've seen government uh, really com coming in very handy. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of supporting uh, EV uh, you know, enthusiasts and uh, EV startups, uh, they have been opening uh, platforms. Like Kenya Power has had several e-mobility, uh, you know, uh, seminars and workshops mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just aimed at bringing uh, e-mobility uh, stakeholders on board to discuss a few things, including uh, policy, mm -hmm. including the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I need to mention, right. for e-mobility to drive, there is a whole ecosystem. It's not just about the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So let's assume we roll out a million of these. So where are these guys going to be charging? So uh, do we have the requisite infrastructure, the charging stations and all those kind of stuff? Mm. So the government is really working with uh, the stakeholders. We are also working with universities okay. because this is a new technology. The conventional uh, you know, mechanics mm. may not have the know-how to repair mm. these things. So mm -hmm. I'm talking about motors, I'm yeah. talking about batteries, I'm talking about controllers, mm -hmm. and this is new stuff. So universities are also coming in handy in terms of training. And uh, Ecomobilas, again, has been keen to partner with a few of them. One of the universities that has really been working closely with us is uh, Kenyatta University mm -hmm. uh, through the KU Innovation Center. So that's why we have been doing most of the R&D for the batteries. Okay. And uh, probably we are gonna roll out one of the biggest battery assembly, uh, you know, uh, factory there. So we have also partnered with other universities. Uh, one of, uh, another one is Muranga University for the fabrication. So because again, if you need to make a thousand of these mm -hmm. tuk-tuks, mm -hmm. we'll need to have a, a factory line. So like we are also working plant. with yeah like yeah right. so you are basically working with universities as well. Mm -hmm. Zetech University has come in very handy with the IoT, mm -hmm. the Internet of Things to help us how you know the the, the, the dashboard can connect uh, communicate with the battery, how we can monitor your vehicle remotely. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can even switch the vehicle off remotely because wow. it is electric. So in case uh, somebody steals your vehicle and they think they have uh, run away with it. You can switch it off. Uh, uh, in the midst of their, their journey, <laughs> just switch, <laughs> switch them off and then they'll be stranded. Because wow. it's no physical or mechanical part. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't even know what, what, what went wrong. Wow. It's all these things coming together because of a few partners, government, mm -hmm. institutions, mm -hmm. and our local uh, service agents. Quite some technical uh, terms here. Yeah. And I feel like I'm in some sort of <laughs> physics yeah. class. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> wow. So this is it. Mm. So we're going to take a ride yeah. at some point. You'll get to see that. And uh, the interesting thing is, in a, in end a reverse, eh? Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> Imagine Ndudhi ime kubeba na pega reverse. Kao me pitch your stage. Quite an interesting feat. <laughs> wow. This is what we have. 
Uh, thanks so much for uh, hosting us, Ecomobilus. It's been a pleasure. And to you, our viewer, till next time, I'm Teddy Otieno. Goodbye. To watch this story and more, download the Citizen Digital app today.